Hello everyone and welcome back to the studio. David Kessler here. Today I want to show you a little trick that I do to make custom covers for my note cards that I send as thank yous to those who buy my artwork. It's a simple little thing to do but it makes a tremendous difference in those that purchase your work. Alright, what I have here today is some old watercolor paintings that I no longer need. These are old kind of throwaway paintings. Uh, and what I do is I'll I'll cut pieces and parts of these out that are abstract compositions and then I'll put those on the front of a note card. For instance, here's, here are a few that I've already done. So that makes a custom cover for a note card. This is simply a five and a half by four and a quarter inch note card and I hand write inside a thank you uh, for uh, those that purchase my work. I use their name of course and personalize it for them. And then each one gets a separate little cover. I mean, look how great these things are. Right? Just cut them out like that. And they make beautiful, beautiful little covers for these. Now, I have some collectors that buy a lot of my paintings. They, they frame these. I've seen them in their homes, and they'll frame three or four of these together. And they're absolutely amazing. So here's the process that I use to do that. I'll take this. I use a little zoom finder. This little zoom finder here. And I just make a, about a three by four inch opening. And I lay this on these paintings to see what these various compositions look like that I think may be good standalone little abstract compositions. Then I just take a pencil, run that around, do the outline, take my X-Acto knife and a straight edge and cut those out. And then you can see in this painting, there's all kinds of amazing, amazing, amazing little compositions that you can do and the more abstract for me the better and if you can't tell what they are and you always want oh that's fantastic right there if you always wonder what they are then I think that makes for a good card Ooh, I love that too right. so that's the process Ooh, love that I just draw I just find the little uh, area and isolate it I take my pencil and draw the line around there I'm on my cutting board, just take a straight edge, my X-Acto knife, go in there, cut it out. It makes these little three inch by four inch things. I take that, use my double stick tape, put that on there. And as a friend of mine says, viola, or voila, there's your card. You personalize it inside, have that on the outside, put it in the envelope. This is a huge, huge thing for a lot of collectors because most artists don't do this. I have a whole house full of artwork up there and I've gotten one thank you note from one artist and that's it. So these are a big hit. My collectors love them. Sometimes they frame them. They can't wait to get them. So do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do something fun for them. Do something that they want and they like and you'll reap the benefits from it for many, many years. Now I hope this was helpful for you. This is a very simple thing that you can do that makes a lot of difference to your collectors. Tell them how much you appreciate the fact that they purchased something for you and let them know that it's important to, for the continuation of your business. It's a small thing, it doesn't take much time on your part, but it means a lot to them. And believe me, when you get something from an artist that says thank you, handwritten, personalized with artwork on the front, you've built a, a relationship with a collector that's going to last for years and years. So do it for yourself, do it for them, and I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you again next time.